uh, did we land on the moon, and was there a Bush uh, senior JFK assassination connection? Okay. All the evidence I have is that the, the technology is even more advanced than what they show. And yes, we did go to the moon, but they did fake a few things because they didn't want the general public to see the real technology. And of course, you know, the B-2 stealth bomber was 20 plus years old when they rolled it out in 1987. And, and I know people who worked on the front line of mission control. I know the guy that ran the RCA cameras on the moon, Raymond Teague, and he's the real deal. Uh, and I've talked to Dr. Bob Bowman, the former head of the Star Wars program, and he, he says, well, it's classified, but you're right on target with they've got a semi-fake space program, not because they don't have the technology, but because they don't let the public know what they've really got. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Uh, how about the – do because there's a memo out on the Internet. I don't know if it's fake or not. But with, No, there's a real uh, memo that a George Herbert Walker Bush was in the CIA and was in Texas, and he was photographed in Daly Plaza. Uh, and, of course, they claim he would just join the CIA in the 70s to be the director out of nowhere. But, of course, he went to Skull and Bones that, at Yale that founded the CIA. That's on record. And, of course, he was CIA. I appreciate your call. Uh, and the evidence is involved. Uh, let's go to uh, Julian in Texas. Julian, you're on the air. Hello, uh, Alex, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, uh, I wanted to talk about the skull and bones and how it relates to our uh, current currency in the newly redesigned, like, five through $100 bills. Well, there's all sorts of occultic numerology and garbage all over our money. Yeah, but are you aware of the, the letter E and how it, uh, when you turn on its side, on some fonts, it looks like the Triforce. Like, are you aware of that? The power, courage, and justice that they believe in? Yes. And how when you uh, fold the $20 bill in half, it, the top, it has nine. It, when you separate it into four sections, it has nine, and then the bottom is one, and on the back is one. Yeah, well, let me be and clear, you... Julian. The globalists are obsessed with numerology and the occult. They believe in it. I don't believe in it. But for listeners, I'm not saying I believe in this. It's like, do you believe in a religion that pygmies have in Central Africa, uh, in the Congo? No. But do they practice worshiping rocks and trees? Yes. Uh, and, and, and yes, I've snuck into Bohemian Grove. I've covered ABC News, got footage of Skull and Bones. They made The Good Shepherd, uh, directed by Robert De Niro, that's very historical about Skull and Bones founding CIA, devil worship. And it's all real and... Uh, the Republican leadership predominantly has gay orgies at Bohemian Grove. That's even in Vanity Fair. One of their guys finally snuck in two years ago, got fired over it, but did, did witness it. And it's it, what you think is going on is not what's happening. But, I mean, who else but Satanists would let DynCorp and Halliburton run white slavery rings and it's put in the Chicago Tribune and nobody gets in trouble? It's a bunch of hedonistic Satan worshipers that run everything. Yeah, it is. And I yeah, my film, my more. film, Dark Secrets Inside Bohemian Grove, and The Order of Death. It's, it's two, two films on one DVD covers it all. But go ahead. Yeah, in like uh, you see the folding paper money, uh, like foldingmoney.com, dot com, but where it shows like the that the Twin Towers were hit and smoke. And then well, it shows the down. whole progression. It shows them not being hit, being hit, then crumbling. I appreciate your call. Yeah, yeah. Uh, literally scores of news ads, TV shows, Fox TV, six months before, released a lone gunman episode, a uh, spinoff of the X-Files, where the government hijacks a jet, a jumbo jet, by remote control to fly out in the World Trade Center to declare martial law and attack Afghanistan. But the rest of the government stands down because the government runs a drill of it being a drill, and then exactly that happened on 9-11. And uh, it just goes on and on and on and on and on and on because it's their religion. It's called lesser magic. They have to do the ritual first in front of you in a smaller way, like a model of it. They believe to successfully carry it out. It's also kind of like all this stuff is superstition, but, but, but it goes back to the Greeks and every other culture, the Japanese, the Aztecs. They all believe in vampires. I don't. But, but, but a vampire is a symbol of a psychopathic guild or a club of psychos who go out at night and kill people. And vampires have to tr come to your business or house, make a deal with you, and trick you to invite them in once so they can come in again.
And so that's why they admit their world government to you. And then the other side of their mouth say it doesn't exist. And that's why they put all their symbols out about how they're killing us and tell us what they're doing to their movies. Uh, they even believe that that's the job I'm fulfilling. They believe you're too weak and won't stand up to them. I believe you're strong and will stand up to them.